So before anything, I just want to say this was my actual first job, even before working as a host. However, I don't want to say this was my first official job because I was getting paid less than minimum wage. Hey guys, what's up guys? It's me, Alvaro, and welcome back, of course, to another video. So in a time of no COVID and in a time where I wasn't even done with high school, I was washing cars. I was working at a car wash. I was a junior going to be a senior and in the summer vacation that is where I got my job at a car wash. Not my best experience but let's go. So how did I end up getting the job? So basically I got the job because of my mother. At the time she saw me as someone that didn't do anything and matter of fact I wasn't doing anything. I mean I was literally a kid or maybe she thought I had no aspirations whatever although at that time I was already beginning you know this YouTube channel but I mean she didn't understand she doesn't understand but whatever that is something else so anyways going back to the story uh, my mom drove to a car wash with me and she basically rolled down the window and she started speaking with one of the owners of the car wash asking if they were hiring and they said yes yes we were, we're hiring and after that they told me to show up the next day and the next day came and I showed up. The hiring process, I mean, I wouldn't even call it the hiring process because they didn't even ask for anything. They didn't even ask for an ID or papers or nothing. Basically, you wanna work, all right, come work and that's it. When I was working there, I noticed that there were a lot of illegals working at the place, meaning people that didn't have papers. Now, why am I saying this? Because of course, like I said, they paid less than minimum wage. But anyways, fuck it, let's keep going. So I began working there. I went to work at 9 a.m. and left work at 6 p.m. Basically, like a full-time job. And of course, it was a lot, at least for me, which of course at the time I was I was a fucking kid. But anyways, fuck it, let's keep going. And now, I don't want you to get me wrong, but not all car washes are like that, but at least this particular car wash that I worked at was like that. So it was basically standing up all day, vacuuming cars. That was the first step. The second was actually cleaning, you know, getting the sponges, you know, and like cleaning the cars, so the, like the outside part of the cars, you know, with the sponges and the water gun. Cars would literally line up non-stop just wanting to get their cars washed. However, one funny story that I want to mention, at least particularly what I used to do, every single time I would like go inside the, the car wash, you know, to like vacuum the cars, I would check if they had like quarters and I would like get some quarters for me. Why? Because I wanted to buy a soda or water or something like that so I can drink throughout my shift. However, I wasn't the only one doing that and just know that I was stealing quarters. However, these other people that were working with me at the time, they weren't stealing quarters. They were stealing bags and shit like that. And me, I was a kid and I would see that and I was like, damn, feeling impacted, you know, and they were like my co-workers, right? And I was like, damn, like I didn't even know how to react, you know, I'm a fucking kid. Like, what is a 16 year old gonna say to a 40 something year old guy? that was still in the bag, nothing. Besides, they were my coworkers, like I couldn't do anything. I was just watching, I was just like, damn. Anyways, that was like some things that happened throughout the job. Anyways, the day ended and boom, they paid me. What did they pay me? They paid me 20 bucks and those 20 bucks were literally the tips that everybody would get and we were all split it between the people that worked there. So $20 a day, Mmm, it's nothing. But that wasn't the only way of getting paid, of course. Every two weeks, they would also pay you your salary. My salary was every two weeks, I would get paid 50, 60, or 70, depending on the sales the car wash got, they would give us a percentage. So it would range about like $50 to 60, 70, and 80, but 80 never. So it was, let's say, the most optimistic I would get every two weeks was 70 bucks. So let's do the math 20 bucks times five because in a week I used to work five days a week 20 times five is 100 so I was getting paid 100 weekly times two because remember we gotta multiply it by two because it's, they paid you bi-weekly right of course so it was times two which would equal two 200 only tips right of course two weeks two hundred dollars plus the salary which remember if we're being optimistic we get 70 so I was getting paid 270 dollars every two weeks and that is of course less than minimum wage basically 
almost as how much you're gonna get paid at a part-time job killing yourself and to be honest most likely they took advantage of the workers or us you know the people who were cleaning the cars at least the car wash was taking advantage of us because many of them didn't have papers and me I was young as fuck like what the fuck are they gonna tell me now would I recommend this type of job honestly I wouldn't recommend it of course but that's that if I had to rate this job from 1 to a 10 I would rate this job as a 2 a 2 out of 10 and why am I saying 2? I'm saying 2 because 2 is better than 1 and what would be 1? basically 1 would be from 1 to a 10 1 would be having no job and 2 having a shitty ass fucking job but of course having a shitty job is better than having no job and now don't get me wrong I do not mean having a job you know that you get paid hourly or nothing like that no like I mean like actually you doing something like even if for example you have a part-time job or a full-time job whatever is good working out is good having a part-time job or doing something is good having a project that you're working on is also good going to school is also good but all of those are good if you compare it to doing none of those like for example if you're working on your own and like you're trying to make your business that is way better way better than not doing shit so basically my point is do something you know do something you know don't stay like this you know like just chilling you know waiting for time to pass you know because if you're not gonna do shit like literally you won't, you're, like, you're not doing shit, like, what the fuck, you know? <laughs> Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. Of course, if you like this video, please comment, like, subscribe, you know, and click that bell icon, you know, because if you do not click that bell icon, might as well, you're just not even subscribed. Of course, you can follow me on Instagram, you know, at alvarox 9 you know, and of course, you know, DM me, you know, DM me telling me that you came from watching my YouTube videos because that honestly motivates me a lot. And follow me, you know, because if you follow me, trust me, if you follow me and you write to me, I'm gonna follow you back. Like, that's a fact. I do that with everybody. Other than that, thank you so much for watching this video, of course. And like I said, do something, you know. Do something, you know. Don't do nothing because if you do nothing, you're not doing anything. So at least do something, right? Of course. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. Peace, baby. Boom.